Hey, I want to talk to you about some habits of the rich. I cover five habits of the rich in my book From Red to Black, but I want to cover two here in this video. And it's really important to study rich people and do what they do and study poor people and don't do what they do. And when I was younger, buying my first uh, car, I experienced the power of using other people's money. And I share the story about my Uncle Dave, who was kind enough and generous enough to lend me money to get my first car so that I could get to my first job. I had just graduated at a community college, computer college, and um, we were firing resumes off to this different place. We are looking at advertisers and all this stuff. I took the interview, got the job for $13.50 an hour, asked my mom if I could use her car, and she's like, no, you're going to have to get your own car. And, you know, honestly, I didn't even think about taking the train or the bus. I just assumed. I needed a new car and so I did go into debt but I did use someone else's money um, and so I remember I ended up paying my uncle like I don't know I think I could only pay like 250 or 350 but he showed me how I could pay more and pay the car off faster and so that's what I decided to do and I think I was paying maybe $500 a month just writing in post dated checks every month but this was the power of leverage and using other people's money which the rich do all the time just because they don't have the money it doesn't stop them from getting what they need done whether that's you know using the power of leverage of other people's money now you want to be careful when you're doing that and make sure you're doing it so that you can make more and cover whatever the note is every month in my case it was five hundred dollars a month I think it could have been only like 250 or 350 but I chose to pay more because I wanted to pay off that debt but the point is is that I was able to get the car so I could get the job and earn even more money because if I didn't have the car, I might not have be able to do the job. So sometimes you do need to use other people's money to get the asset so that you can create more money, pay it off, and now what do I have? I have a job and now I have a paid off car, right? These are one of the secrets of the rich. The second one is, and this is another family member, this time it was my cousin who gave me a book and some money for my wedding gift for me and my amazing wife and so I think he gave us some money and he also gave us a book and inside he wrote inside this book he said this is the second best book I have read to the Bible because my cousin's a pastor and uh, the book was uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad I was gonna say it's from red to black this is the next best book um, Rich Dad Poor Dad and um, that book changed my life and this is the difference between poor people and rich people poor people entertain themselves, rich people educate themselves. Now unfortunately that book I didn't read until maybe years later after I had already made a whole bunch of financial mistakes and started to go away in debt and then one night as I share uh, in this book, in this story that all of a sudden went out I'm like oh wow oh my gosh I didn't know that I didn't know that Oh, we're doing this wrong. Oh, we need to do this. And my wife's like, what, what, what? She's like, I told you, you should have read it a while ago. And anyways, I say this to say this, like, he could have given me a TV, could have given me, you know, a gift card. And I'm thankful for those, those kind of types of gifts too. But he gave me education, you know, and you can either give somebody a fish or you can teach them how to fish. And I'm so thankful that he gave me the, the tools to learn how to fish so that I could educate my mind and I could change the way I see finances and so I could get me free. And then the next thing you do once you, you're free, you go get other people free. And that's actually my challenge in this book. And I talk about the five habits of the rich and the seven habits of the poor you must avoid at all costs. But the whole point is, is I'm trying to get you from red to black. Get you out of debt, get you financially well, build a business, build passive income so you're free, and then once you're free, you go free other people. And that's my mission with this book, is to help people get financially free so they can work on their mission, on their calling, and not be stressed about, about finances, all right? Stop being a slave to money and make money your slave so it's working for you so you can focus on your calling. Get a free copy of this. Go to manifest.com forward slash from red to black. It's free. You just got to cover the shipping and handling and we'll send it right out to you. I hope it changes your life and I'll see you on another video.